Hey guys, it's Gomrath here. We're continuing the starting from scratch series and we are up to the point where you got your add-ons, you got the pets that you really want and now we're gonna start everything out, okay? So unfortunately on this account, I have already done all the pet battles and done all the quest lines. So I'm gonna walk you through as best I can. Now you come and you talk to, um, how do you say this guy's name? Uh, Varzok? Yeah, Varzok here in Orgrimmar. And you get trained in pet battles. Okay, so already known. Anyway, you pay him a couple silver. I don't remember how much it is. It's really not a lot. And um, he trains you in pet battles. And then you can learn a pet from him. And I have not learned a pet from him on this guy, which is the King Snake. And now I learned the king snake. The black king snake has been added to my journal. An SS snake. Nice. I'll level him up sometime. And then he gives you a quest. And I think the first quest is you got to go capture or fight another pet. Now, if you can see up on the mini map here, I've got here. Let me make it so I don't have mailboxes selected. Mailbox repair. Okay. When you see a critter with the paw above it the green paw icon above it it means it's a pet that you can fight and the first quest that it gives you is to capture a pet now i am going to be using for this fight chrominius um he doesn't have a type advantage versus this lizard here but he hits hard and he's got a high health pool Now, as you can see, I brought him to 50% health and I got my dragon racial activated, which means this next bite is going to hit for an additional 50% damage. If it crits, it's going to kill him. Okay, I'm grateful it didn't. And now I'm going to try to capture him. So every time you throw out one of these uh, traps, you have a chance to capture him. And if it missed that time, then it... Uh, very likely would have landed the next time i've had it sometimes where i've missed like three in a row and my pet dies and i have to switch into a different pet but you finish that quest where we've captured a pet now we can actually go into our journal view and journal and you can see him now the rarity of a pet does matter this is just a rare pet no this is uncommon uh which means it's the second highest it can be as far as stat distribution goes where these guys here they're blue so they're rare um, which means that's the highest that it can go we don't have epic or legendary pets yet um, on our side you fight some but you can't capture any so if he was a blue pet then snagging him would be extra useful so Anyway, that's it. And then, so you come talk to him again, and he says, Congratulations, you captured a pet. That is fantastic. Now I want you to go out, and I want you to fight somebody. And he sends us over here. Oh, by the way, what I did there was I just used the, um, the Revive Battle Pet cooldown. It's an eight-minute cooldown that lets you heal your pets, and it heals every pet in your journal. So it's not just the pets that you have selected. In these three right here but it's all the pets in your entire journal so after capturing a pet you're gonna come out here he's gonna send you to beat Zorvok right that's him no Zunta sorry Zorvask is this no that's Zoltan is Zorvask even a tamer I don't know I'm tired but he sends you out here to beat Zunta and Zunta is the first tamer for horde um, the quest line is different for the alliance like the the tamers are different and they're in different locations the horde ones are mostly in kalimdor actually all in kalimdor oh except whoops okay uh, i already have teams preloaded here so i'm going to reload my dream team again um if you're curious about that just watch my rematch video i'll leave a link for it in the description below but he tells us, I want you to go fight Zunta. And one thing that's awesome about rematch is you get two options here. So either 
we tell him we want to fight him or he we can say hey i want to learn more about you and it'll tell us which pets that he has the level of the pets that he has and the moves of the pets that he has so it's really stinking awesome in that uh you can build teams to counter any of the tamers but i already know this is the team that i want to beat him with and we'll see how it goes okay so i'm just gonna be using bite uh until i kill his first pet now what's interesting here is see how i'm going first is because he had 19 speed and I had 22 speed. But he just hit me with a debuff, Screech, which reduced my speed uh, significantly. And as you can see, under our pictures, I've got something that says Dragonkin and he has something that says Beast. Okay, what that means is each of us have kind of a racial, like that's the best way to describe it. Um, and with, ooh, let's see, I wonder if he'll kill me this round. I was close but i wanted to do a lot of damage to him okay so now that chrominius is this low you want to switch out to a different pet now i know that critter attacks are very weak versus humanoids so even though he's one level higher than my newest sath idol i know his attacks will not be doing a lot of damage to him so that's why i switched to this guy here um yeah sorry it's hard to keep track of everything that i want to teach you if you're new to pet battles so he's hitting me with a multi-turn move called Swarm, and there's several moves like it in the game. And what it does is it makes it so that this character takes 100% increased damage for two rounds. And it's really, really powerful. Um, if he had gone and hit me with Scratch right there, it would have hit me for twice as much damage as it did. But he did not, so I did not get, I did not get killed. Okay, so from that fight, my Nubis Sath Idol ranked up to level 2, and my Chrominius got up to level 3. Okay, after you finish that, you'll have another quest pop up that says, Hey, go to the Barrens and fight this one creature. Or not this one creature, this one tamer. Dagra. And after I beat Dagra, that'll be the end of this, this video. It'll just be the first two tamers. Um... But Dagra, she has a couple higher level pets. So this fight may be a tad bit harder. Uh, all of her pets are level 3. And right now, our pets are level 2, level 3, and level 1. So you know one thing I could do is... Here, let's do this. We're just going to level up a pet really quickly by doing a fight. Now a lot of this is just kind of instinctual. And that I've been doing pet battles for so long. Like it's just kind of second nature for me. Um, but you'll pick up on it. I promise. It's really not that complicated. I mean this is basically wow Pokemon. You know. Okay. So once we beat. Uh, Dargra the Fierce up here. I think I'm going to go to bed. Because it's late. And my wife had a hard day. And I really should be in bed with her not making a video so once you beat Dargra you're gonna get a quest from Zunta to go all around the world beating all these different tamers and then he's gonna send you to go over to be the tamers of the Eastern Kingdoms um, okay let's fight oh nope I have all these pre-made teams uh, just to speed level so that's why you're seeing other things happen okay we'll see how this plays out and I, actually here this is the awesome thing so normally when you retreat from a pve battle like if this was versus just kind of creatures i was fighting out in the world um you lose 10 percent of your health every time you retreat but because this is just a tamer i don't now, the reason I switched to make my pe mechanical Pandaren Dragonling go first is because he's got Bombing Run, which actually does bonus damage to beast types, where I've got that green arrow. Um, and so I wanted to use him here. Once again, we have another one of these low-level pets thrown on Shattered Defense. 
So if he hits me with a uh, hoof next round, that could, it probably would kill me, honestly. Okay. And then my bomb's gonna fall, boom. Oh, it didn't kill him? What garbage is that? Okay, I'll just do one more. Okay. Now because he's a mechanical type, I'm gonna allow him to actually take this hit here, die, come back to life, do some damage, and then switch to a different pet. Now this is where I'm gonna switch to Chrominius because he has a advantage. Well, he had an advantage. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna hit him with Howl. Oh, that's weak versus elementals. That was silly. Okay. Yeah, it's only hit for 55. Okay. Yeah, that was awesome. Look, I hit him for 100 damage there. I don't know why I hit him for so much. Got my dragon type active. Okay. Then he rings out Ripper. Okay, since I have my Dragon Racial up, I want to use it. He's... Hmm. Normally he goes Prowl and then hits me with a big old attack, but he's not doing that. Okay, this should probably kill him. Okay, it does not kill him. So because it doesn't kill him, I want to get my Anubis Sath Idol in here um, just to get some of the experience from this pet battle. And I'll be able to knock him out with a sandstorm. So even though this guy was low health, um, I was able to go in there and kill everybody just because that team is so solid. Okay. Well, those are the first two tamers with the dream team. And now we're going to head up towards um, Anna Lynn. And I'm going to send these characters over to my brother's account because that's where he is at in this quest line and um, we'll be following the actual quest line the rest of the way all the way up until Pandaria so thanks for watching it was a pleasure gaming with you and if you found this video helpful make sure to drop a like